Hello, my fa fellow gamers. We today we are going to be comparing my new keyboard versus my old keyboard. So, as you can tell, this one is a blue switch, as you can hear. And this one basically has no switches. Quite loud, kind of, not really. But, um, this one is really cool. I love this one. Um, this one could change into different modes, as you could kind of see. I'll get y'all at a different angle later. Yep. Um, but I really like this one, right? Well, not really, but this one only could fade, as y'all can see. Like, that's just the fading, and then just stays right there. Um, I really like this one. If you, um, are gonna, like, be a gamer that really likes playing on keyboard and mouse, I recommend this one. It's a G... A G or R G B keyboard. Um, by the way, this video is not sponsored, so be aware of that. Um, but back into the video, this one could change to a different ton of modes, like 10 modes, and this one could only change into like one, of course. Um, so let's get right into this video. So, this is my new keyboard, this is my old keyboard. Um, kind of don't really. If you're going to, like, become a um, keyboard and mouse player and you're not really sure if you really want to switch, get this one I recommend. Um, it's a, like, $20 keyboard, and this one is, like, $50, I think I said at the first part. But this is, like, $20 right here. Um, pretty simple keyboard. And then we have my new keyboard right here. It looks like it's off, but when you click on it, it lights up the whole thing. Um, you could change it to different modes. Like if you press F in and down page, you could change it to different ones. Like this one is interactive with touch. Just lights up the individual key. Um, then you could switch it. Um, this is like in um not individual but like interactive with touch. Every time you click on it. And then you have this one right here. Basically like a disco. <laughs> I really like this one. It's really cool. Then this one. Basically a disco, not interactive, one touch. Same for the other one. Um, And then we have the fade right here. Not interactive, one touch. On touch, I meant. Um, but this one is pretty cool too. And then you got this one. Not interactive either, but pretty cool is like it's a wave basically and this one basically just like a, a frozen wave basically then we have this one just lights up in different places and of course you can see that it's not interactive um this one it like fades every time you click on it pretty cool then we have this one it just goes up and down like yeah um, we have this one, not interactive on touch, basically just another fade, and this one. Um, this one, also not interactive on touch, and this one, mm, this was the first one. It's a aluminum under part right here on it, and then if you flip it over, um, you have this right here. Basically, you could go this way or this way, wherever your cord needs to go, or straight up. Um, really recommend this one. And this one, like, if you're going to start, really recommend this one. Um, also, with it, you get this right here. A little spare blue switch. And then, also, you get two key pullers. This is one of them. And here is another one. Plastic. I really recommend this one out of both of them. Um, I really like it. Pretty cool. Um, and it's semi simple, not really simple, but very cool. Recommend this one now. Like when you see me like do more gaming videos, you're obviously gonna see me with this one instead of this one because I really like um this one more. 
Um, you might see me sometimes play with this one, or I might sell it. Um, but yeah, that's the video for today. Remember, I'm going to put the link in the description for both of these keyboards. And also, have a good day. And, and one more thing before I end the video. Please drop that like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really just want that one, um, just to get 100 subscribers. And then I will do a additional giveaway. So just share this video. Tell your family members to like, subscribe and everything. And have a good day.